after after the week off? Um, you feel good. You feel rejuvenated and feel like you're ready to finish these last three games on off strong. Are you personally ready to go for, for Saturday? Um, yeah, I think I'm getting healthy. I mean, trying to work every day to get back. And, I mean, I feel like I'm in good shape right now. Is it dawned on you that this is your last home game of your career? Um, <laughs> yeah, it has. I mean, you just want to make the best out of it. But, I mean, it's your last home game. I mean, I'm not, I haven't really thought of it any more than that. Has it gone pretty quickly, the, your time here? Oh, of course. I mean, every year goes by a lot faster. I mean, freshman year felt like... 12, a 12 game season was a long time. Now it feels like it's too short. So, I mean, every year goes by a lot faster than the year before. Is there one Austin memory that sticks out for you? Um, Austin memory? Dang, I mean, it's too many. I can't really pick one specific moment. I mean, definitely the first time you stepped on the field. I mean, that was a great opportunity playing in front of 50,000 after being in high school. I mean, it's a dream come true. I was just having a week off. I mean, it helps a lot, but at the same time, you have to keep that football mindset in because, I mean, when you have a week off, I mean, how often does that really happen? And, I mean, it definitely helps um, your health-wise, but we have to stay focused and keep that football mentality. How tough is Colorado to defend? I think they're pretty tough. I mean, they, they quarterback is thrown for a lot of yards. They have a lot of different guys that have a lot of yards receiving and rushing. So, I mean, they spread the ball around. They get the ball to the guys that they know are their playmakers. And, I mean, Spruce has 100 catches already. So, I mean, they get the ball to their playmakers, and they make plays after the catch. So we have to play tight defense. This offense isn't necessarily one that's rated amongst the best offenses in the conference. But what is it about this team that they're still able to put up points, that they're still able to press teams into the fourth? I mean, they keep games close. They make, e they make the easy throws, and, I mean, they capitalize on them. They find opportunities to get easy third down conversions, and when it's third and short rather than third and long, it's a lot easier to make the I mean, make the com conversion. Is Oregon State beat Arizona State? Is that kind of a cautionary tale for you guys? You that, just kind of have to play them. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, play like just like we played Oregon State last year. It doesn't matter what your record is when it gets this gets to this point in the season. I mean, it really matters who executes the best because everybody knows what they're what the other team's doing and really just have to make the best out of that. Everyone knows what you're doing and you just have to execute when it comes down to playing on the field.